All right. Okay, let me share what I'm looking at here. Okay, so here's, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, the notes. This is 90A. Um, so let's see, James Silverhorn did the opening prayer and then Hazel Botone spoke. Uh, she talked about preserving, visiting, and then Esther Topa, um, talked about laundry, uh, livestock and horses. And then we talked, we, we talked about that word to, uh, the rubbing board to wash your laundry on. Yeah. Um, and then Margaret Danka talked, and she, Talked about mixing butter and trading with other tribes. Oh, there's a Grandma Marty. Um, then Isabel Tuhatchet talked and she talked about breakfast and how it was different. And then um, iron to cook with and iron clothes. Uh, let's see. And then starching. <laughs> uh, let's see. Stephen Zotai talked about um, electricity and the telephone. And then Guy Tampi talked. Um, People going faster. I don't know where that word is. Um, is it you don't see it. <laughs> we were we were looking at. We were trying to remember what we talked about last week, mm -hmm. and Grandma D mentioned. Uh, did we talk about a word for pets, or it was a word that maybe um, we thought was a word for pets? I think they thought it was a word for pet. That's what I thought. It was yacht something. I yeah, was trying okay. to see which speaker it was, yeah, but it was, I didn't I didn't note it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't either. Even let, though me, we, let me go back and see if I can see it on my notes. I don't know, but <laughs> who was talking about it? Would you which speaker, do you remember? Talk about that yacht thing. Was it Esther? Like when she talked about livestock and horses? No, sure. No, we'll see. God dang P. Let me go her up, see what she said. Uh, she's talking about laundry. <laughs> Doing laundry. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. I yeah. thought it was a male that said that I word. Thought I thought it was a man too, because they okay. talked about how women harnessed up the horses. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so, to the front. Put my, uh... So Stephen Zotai talked. Uh, he was a second to the last speaker, and then Guy Tampi talked last. But let me go see who the beginning speaker. Uh, was it? Um. Well, James Silverhorn did the opening prayer. Oh, it might have been in our because we um this is the second half of the session. Remember, we listened to the first half that week before. Let me look at those notes. Maybe it's in that first first one. Because yeah. we got through like 21 minutes of it. Uh, let's see who spoke here. Oh, I didn't take good notes that day. <laughs> I'd have to pull up the recording. Um, okay. Let me see if I can find. So it would maybe it was in your notes from the sixteenth. Could be. I could be further back. 
Yeah, because it might have been in the uh, beginning part of the recording. No, I'm going to back and look and see if I got any notes on that word there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to see if I can pull up the recording too. Hey, Melody. On day. Uh, just let you know I'm at work just in case you're calling me or something. Okay. FYI. Oh. Okay. We're okay for now, though. I'm here. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we're, we're probably just going to be listening to a recording here in a minute. So if you have any questions, let us know. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I was on a 16 melody, and it was either at the end of um, James Silverhorn talking or the beginning of Yale Spotted Birds talking, that that word kind of came up. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was at the end of George Coyote's speech or the beginning of James Silverhorn. And I got it right above his name, so it may have been him. James Silverhorn. Oh, okay. And let I put me, it to um, the beginning. Yeah, so I don't know. What... Let me try to pull it up then and see if we can. It's Yapadoga. Uh, and it Yapadoga. Is that what we said? Dolores will remember that. I think it was Connor. Yeah, said, I just remember the yacht part, and then that's all. I think you think. We think of, you know, yacht ma and yacht gap. Yeah, they to stay for a while and they stay forever. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> but I think he said uh, yacht ba do yeah, or something like that. Yacht ba do yeah. And yeah, I think it might have been this yacht means an extended stay, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, they used to say um, somebody yachts on. It's almost like they came to stay for a little bit, but then they just stayed. <laughs> they yeah. were part of the family. <laughs> part of the family, I think. <laughs> they say, they'll say yacht mine, yacht. Yeah, they will say that. And it's only few I've heard it used for it. Yeah, that's what made me think. Maybe it was the uh, pets. I don't know. Oh. That would make sense. An animal that stays with you for a little bit. Yeah, it comes <laughs> to your house and then you adopt it as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Um, let's see. So I have the recording, but I did. I don't have. Let's see the. Uh, I know James Silverhorn does the prayer, and then after him, let's see. Yeah, James Silverhorn did the prayer, and then George talked, and then somewhere after, between there and Silverhorn is where that word came out. Okay. Let's see. Do we want to listen to it again? Yep, I do. Yeah, maybe it's that little part, huh? Yep, I do. Okay. Let's see. Uh, see. So if I play the recording, will you be able to notice which uh, their voices? Let's see. Okay, here's the recording. So let's see. So James Silverhorn does the prayer. Mm -hmm. Then George. I think he goes for like maybe four or five minutes. Let's see. We're going to talk about the changes that have occurred okay. during our time. So at this time, uh, like I've been starting off with my dad here, so that the others can get an idea on what just what the subject will be. I'm on key. Dumb cocky, I come. Cargo take a key. They are there on I'll 
הם כאוב. יאי כאוב. כל הזמן. אף פעם. המון על כויה דאם עם המצ'ו אהו הו גום טאון על גאום כותו דוקטו על אום דוניה גאויון די טאבה דיאל דאם They were born, though. Hey, I'll take it. No. That's the idea of what it means. Oh. Well, go pay my time, I'll take it. Hey, get down to the house. Get down to the house. Get down to the house. One car, they had some. Okay, hey. Well, come on, why don't we don't make that? Hey, come on, keep trying to keep. Come on, I'll go. Come on, keep going. Oh, come on, go get out of the gas. Hey, boy, I'm the only one. Hey, boy. Oh, the old deva, ah, don't think I want to get on there. They don't think you show me the onso mon gepel do go on ki. ไปเดาก่อนก็ว่าต่ออายุติดกินเทียมติดเทียมต่อเนาะที่ก็ว่าอุ้งเลยก็โตเฉลยพี่ว่าอีลบ้างเอ็งก็ก็เทียมต่อ
whatever. So anyway, I guess that's what he's talking about. Everything was all mixed up. Yeah. <clears throat> then he said, toward the end, somewhere in there, uh, caught on where ever they took up all the spaces and now they're running out of space. It's kind of what he said. I don't remember how he said it. But anyway, but that was toward the end of what he was speaking about. <clears throat> Oh, Marco Ba, Marco Ba Da. Mm -hmm. Oh, Martha, now you think that's what he meant? I think so, because you're right. When you start talk about things getting mixed up, it's they will say Marco, Marco. But saying it like this is the way you have to pronounce it in your context. He's saying we're in that, we're in that um, predicament. <laughs> <A little bit. clears throat> oh, awesome. Uh, let's see. So you said uh, the next one that speaks is George. Yeah, he's the next speaker. And then somewhere either about at the ending of his or the start of the next speaker is where that little word came in there that we're looking for. Also, okay. I have to say, uh, her, her dad said this word that I missed the first time around. He was talking about all the stuff they did. And he said, uh, ache, ope. Does mean like planting, starting to learn how to plant? You know, because we were not, in our culture, you know, we, we're not farmers. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he said, and I didn't catch it the first time I saw her and said it twice in here. A cope. A cope. A cope. Mm -hmm. Like putting down, a, you know, anything with A, I always think is a wheat kind of a product. Oh, that's you know, awesome. Finding anything like that, like a uh, Grain, oh, weed, yeah. and you get flour. Grain. <laughs> yeah, grains, the grains, yeah. I think that's the A sound. Like A, oh. Like A, you know where that comes uh -huh. from? Yeah, like that. All the A sound. That's, that's a good, that's a good point. That, that's the one thing we had to learn, learn all about. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Anything else I should note? Second, third well, time, you hear a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, my memory is so bad that if I'm writing down a number, then I have to look it up again. Whatever, I can't remember. Anyway, I heard that my cold bottle and then hear it the first time. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, there's a lot to remember because we don't hear those words. Mm -hmm. We don't hear conversation. We don't hear Kiowa of that order. Mm -hmm. So that's where you have to strip. Drain your brain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, we appreciate that. Um, okay, I'm going to play and let's see if he says that word at the end of his speech here. No, it's the next speaker. Or the next, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right. Really between the paragraph. Okay, here's this one. George. My Uncle George. Really anyway. Bon dog guy. I can't know I got that. Tally can I do. Um. เกาะเปิ้ลดอกกระต้องกระดอดเด้อก็ไอ้ตรงเกียร์เอ้ยก่อนเอ้ยกระดอดเด้อเอ้ยก่อนคงเก็บตอกตอกเป้าหันมาอ
sen ka le tho le ko mo sa loi be sa lo pa to lan ba tong ko ko tho ka de o ba de ko et no ke ke to de ko a pi ko ana se ki e de ba ko be ba ko te on de ke ha e ka ui ko ki so a ko sol e ko ke to de tho chu pe ma cha be ko tho chu ma ma ko so la ba tong e ko ne ke ke pa o ho ye ko pa bi ui ko to cha le ko ki o ko ke o mu ha de ko ke pa to ya de ko de ko um ta ba de o lo ba ke a ko ko ha ba ya ten ya de ko ko mi a pa hem ka de ko to ya de ko to pa ko to ke ke to de ba pa to ko ta mo ba ba pa to ke ha cha Allah ka ka pa ta ka ke mo so pa na na pa ka ka yi ma na ta ne ka ke a ka na kwe ka ka et no ke ka ke ko ta ta ke ka ke kon ta ta ka ta la ye om ke ku ye de na ta mo ke a ki ke ka a de chen a ke ta ki e ta ta pa ta la te hon de ke o me na o pa ta pa ta ke ke om de ta ne ka a ke ta na na pa ta ne ka ta yo ha ke yo ne ka thay lòng để cho đó để ai cứu hết mọi người còn đâu cái cái cứu này có khi à anh nói rồi sẵn mấy cái món ai cơ ai cái cái món nào ai 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 tôm cái này đâu cái gì không sao cả không được thích sai phu nó không được bớt nó đâu với bà bố tao nó cứ tao mà chút chút cái bố nó vấn đề sao mi ai bây giờ món này có ăn thay để à cái cái đó thì mình bê cái gì thì bê cái bỏ thôi cái đấy con คนไปเองก็นอกอ่อนแต่ไปห่อสมัยตอนนั้นตาเราก็ล่างกับการอ่านอ่านอ่อนเด็กคนด้านมาองต้องกับคนตาได้อย่างเด็กดำเท่าคนไปเองก็อู้เลยก็ต้องกับเลี้ยงเก็บกูดูตาแกก็คิดไปได้เด็กต้องกับเก็บได้เด็กอย่างไรพี่น่ะแกคนไปเองนี่ก็บันทึกไอ้ตัวมองกับตาเท่านั้นมาปอลทำก็ต้องกับท้อหินเก็บดอกลูกก็ไอ้กูบัดดอกเด็กก็ Apaan dah ya, bad agu dah. Eh, so lama ni hai ke dah. Kau itu kan, kau kita dah nak ya, ke sak bahang ke hei dah. Jadi kan, kau ah bahu maya dah. Tapi kau kong kan, tapi kau tahu dah. Bahu kau pun ikhik itu. Eh, tak kau nong dan kau itu hai kan. Nong kau hai ya, kau neng kau cari dah dah kan kau bensin tu cah honda nong mai kau. Eh, kau oh ya kau kau itu zaman mana. เองก็ต่อก็ดอร์สก็ช่วยเลยก็บอกก่อยตัวหายาดอกนะหายาดอกแก้มาเกมอนเตะก็โตซอยก็อีกเกมอนบักก่อยตัวมันนอนในบูมเองก็ผ้าเกี่ยดักแก่เกี่ยกาดโดยบนนั้นแต่ยังเกี่ยก่อยตัวมาหายได้ตอนที่ฮันเทนแต่มาคิดอ๋อเด็กก่อยนู่นเองเกิดตาเกิดมันเดียร์ใหญ่กันไปชนอาหูอาหูก็ก็เน็กโอ้แต่ไปก้าวสามแล้วพอเด็กก็ Ji kerja berkial sahaja kerja baca baca ada tanah kerja berdoa tu kerja hai kerja kau itu hai kerja tak emon kau itu oh ya kerja monteon tayan hai kerja dekat bau sah mereka kerja hujan kerja dekat hujan kerja mereka kerja sah kerja kerja tal oh bau segi okay uh, Grandma D, did you catch anything that time? Well, toward the end, I can't remember. Well, he's the one that first talked about how the women knew, you know, could everyone could uh, set uh, hitch the horses to the, put all their harness on. And he said he saw them that could do that. And then, anyway. I can't make that sound, but anyway, he said when you're telling them to stop, you say whoa, and then and then didn't he say that they had names, Martha? Oh, I think she's yeah. muted. Can I? Well, anyway, <clears throat> he did the first time. I didn't hear, but he's talking about that Kiowa. It's mm -hmm. a much better language than English. Right. And nowadays, the Kiowa young people do not want, do not speak Kiowa. Either they don't want to or 
some are bow old, they can't mm -hmm. pick it up. So we, I missed that the first time, but you were speaking now. How much better you can uh, say, express yourself in Kiowa than in English. And, but I didn't hear that word we're looking for. But no, no, it wasn't in there. I didn't hear it either. So it must have had to be that next speaker because I think I just wrote it in there to remember it and probably put it there. I think maybe it's, it's the next speaker because the oh. next speaker doesn't say that much. So I think we'll see. Did, um, did you catch anything that you wanted to comment on, Grandma Martha? Um, no, she pretty much covered it when she was talking about um, him talking about the. Actually, about the language, I guess, is what he was saying. That it was uh, toward the end. He talks about how good it is that uh, you can express more in Kiowa words. He was saying, uh, you know, like even when you went to funerals, I guess if somebody's speaking English, they kind of miss some things. But he said it was better if they could all speak Kiowa so that everyone got the gist of the whole thing. Is what I think he was saying. You know. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll play the next speaker then. See if we can catch that word. Yeah. Well, I'll write it down. At this time, uh, my dad, James Silverhorn. Mm. Now, I can't get them. We think about them. You probably want to get. Koye <laughs> Tehon <laughs> But I was able to get a lot of people 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 to ทุ่งดอนเนี่ยก็อ้อมแต่เดิมเตะกีดไอ้ดอนเนี่ยกีดตัวเดิมเต็มหมดสลอกแกต้อนเนี่ยก็หน้าเราไปก็ว่าอาร
And then he goes on to say what's coming in there, like electricity and cars and, you know, everything was turning to be different. Even the clothing, because he was said, oh, my dog, yeah, it was different too. So um, he's explaining the changeover, I think. But I thought right there <laughs> in the beginning, the beginning might have had that in there. Yeah, so I don't know what, yeah. Yeah. So, because, you know, uh, anyway, and then he did talk about the change, and <clears throat> he said the water wasn't as good as it was, and what did he say? You're just throwing everything away. Yeah, yeah. And then it's not, after a while, there won't be anything left. Mm -hmm. I so anyway, but I didn't still didn't understand that. He said, "Yeah, but though." Yeah, I so, wonder. You know, I kind of wonder the way it fits in there is the almost as if. Well, I guess that changeover is what he's talking about. I think. Uh huh. Yeah, more than anything, is that changeover from our way of life to what we had to move to. That's what I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so maybe it wasn't pets, but it was just things that we had to change over to. Yeah. Yeah. And then he, when he kept saying, uh, you know, they throw away everything, he was going like, after a while, there won't be anything left. You know, what are we going to do when everything's gone? Yeah. He, he didn't yeah. like that. Talking about, I guess. Ecology, environment, climate change, all those things. Everything. Moving yeah. into new stuff, you know, electricity, we didn't know we were going to be in that. So, you know, I think he's trying to give us that balance there of what happened. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> That's awesome. So, that yacht, but though, that yeah. you think that talks more about changes i think it's like like again remember i said when somebody comes to your house a a lady or a man comes to your house and they yell uh a yell uh so that's what uh i've even heard somebody say a yacht bar or something like that they're like they're gonna go and stay with somebody for a while or something mm -hmm. like they're, just, they're just there you know for like a visit not really a visit but they're just there for a time frame but then it could last and go for a long time. That's the way I figured that word yacht yeah. Oh, so it sounds like they're talking about though. Is that like house? Talking yeah. about a home. Yeah. So, oh. yeah. Uh huh. Okay. So yeah, that means that's not how we live. You know, we lived in teepees, and suddenly we're in houses, and we mm -hmm. get electricity and running water and stuff. I kind of, that's what it seems like he's trying to say is that's what happened to us. Uh, that fits in with what he was saying. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> that makes sense. Okay. Uh let's see. Well, uh what would you like to do? What do we want to listen to? We want to start another uh tape. Yeah, let's see. Oh. Okay. Let me stop sharing this one. And let's um Okay, let me share my screen again so we can look at the list. All right, um, so let's see. What well, looks good? Have we listened to this uh, moving habits of Kiowas? 
don't think so. No, not that we recall. Mm -mm. So there's this one. Uh, so we listened to what is it? Ninety. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, this one. Ninety A. Mm -hmm. We listened to that one, but um, there's this one. Seventy something. Oh, up here. Change of Kiowa life. That might be a bit remnant. So what do you think? Yeah, that's this one. That might be good to know. Yeah. Okay, let me get it downloaded. See what we lost out on. So that's 76. Okay. I'm pulling it up now. Hmm, I'm having trouble opening that file. It uh, doesn't want to play. Keep saying there's an error or. Hmm. Let me try. Um, oh. There must be something with that file. It won't let me play it. Um, let me try, let me just try another one just to make sure. Seventy-six. Um, Come on. Okay, let me try downloading another one. Oh, there's Miss Marion. Okay, let's see if this one lets us play it. Oh. Let's see, why is it doing that? It's not letting me play it for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Might be a setting. Hold on, give me a give me a minute to try to figure this out. Hi, Miss Marion. Hmm. What tape are you looking for? Which one was it? Uh, we were looking for how uh, well changes change changes or uh, no that's the one we were looking. Yeah, it's a tr we're trying to open uh, the number seventy six change of Kiowa life. Uh, so hold on, it it's a technical thing. I'm trying to get it to work. Looks like it's a bad file. 
Looks like there's a bad file. Okay. And Loris, have you ever heard the word ball play? Ball play. Say it again. I'm sorry, Honda. That's all go doll. Oh, ball call a. Have you ever have you ever heard that word? Ball call a. I know. Honda. <laughs> On the tongue, you get off. Wishing, wishing, wishing. You wishing for something? Oh, for something. wish. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it? That's a word I have from uh, elders way back, 60. Okay, what was it? Yeah. Six. No, no, ball, call a, like B A U, and then ball, and then call, C A U, then lay, L E, and then ball, call a. Huh. Hmm. That's really old, Kyle. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever <laughs> heard it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, another one is, oh, he, oh, he, oh. How, how do you pronounce that? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm working on it. I had to call my technician and my husband's going to try to help me with the computer. So okay, give us, give us like a couple minutes. <laughs> oh, he, oh. Say that again, Marion. Oh, ball. The second one is he's like he's saying somebody, hey, oh, he home. Or you could just say, oh, he home. Oh, and then he. Oh, have you have you ever heard those words? Mm -mm. Dolores. No. Honey. Hmm. Well, that ain't he hold by his one. That Louis Louis Toyabo uh, gave me the story. I mean the word. And then Again, this other person, because uh, they were both talking about people going camping alone, like a couple. That's what the Kiowas used to do. Sometimes, some of the uh, men and women, they would go camping alone. <clears throat> That's what they call it. Have you hear it? You just hear it. Hey, oh, he hold up. You know, it sounds like somebody's got the itch. <laughs> yeah, hold up. It sounds like we're going, we're going to get uh, cedar. Is that what it is? Oh. Hold up means to uh, drive or be driving somewhere, I think. Traveling? Uh, no, this word. No, this, this word, I... They said it's camping alone. A couple was camping alone. Mm-hmm. Oh, he he is. That's why. Yes, if you heard it, because that's that's the word. That's the word. Yeah, that's what I, <clears throat> I was just saying. We never hear Kiowa. 
every day, 24 seven. So we don't, a lot of the words we, we hear, we don't really, some of them we can guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's what I was told. Mm -hmm. So because I have to make sure that it was correct because I asked over again. Over and over. I was speaking to them. Oh cool. Oh cool. Back to that word, Mary, and fall call, that is wish. We're talking about wishing. It's pronounced fall call, fall call. Well, sometimes I've heard them say, when everything is just perfect or whatever, they say, get fall called off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then the fall call sounds like somebody's coming along, you know. Uh -huh. fall call. Yeah. So that I guess depends on the kind of story that's being told. What fall call? Fall yeah. call is was, it means like wishing. You're not supposed to wish. It's forbidden. Oh, well, getting off the subject, a little word that um, several sessions ago, I don't remember what they were speaking of. I think it was when they went to school or something. Anyway, Esther Topol would say something was Geham Goat. Uh, what is that? Yeah. yeah. And then I know a word that's connected to it. I mean, similar is uh, Gehan May. Yeah. I kind of know what that is. Is that uh, 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 Hom Goat is what I was wondering. She was talking about school days and she said it twice. Yeah, Hom Goat. And she said it again. Mm -hmm. Something was hard. Mm. Oh. Oh. Something was Just the word Gehan. Gehan. This sounds like you ate some.
Okay, so it looks like there's something going on with my computer. So, so my husband has to kind of take a look at my computer um, and kind of figure out what the problem is. Um, so that means I can't access the files that we were looking at. So let me see if I can access a file in Google Drive. Um, so let me try something else. I'm looking to see if we have it in Google Drive somewhere. Zero, seven, okay, I think I found it. Um, let me down. Okay, all right. I found it in Google Drive. I was trying to open it on my computer, but my computer's not cooperating, but I think I can play it from Google Drive, so. Uh, all right, so you ready? I think this is a short one too, it looks like. Okay, uh, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, share it. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Up. 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 on top then. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. I'm all going to go away. Yeah. So I go. Hey, oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. Go fail. Yeah, don't mind. So let go. Hey, go now, hey. On time, on day. Yeah, don't mind. Hey. Yeah, but hey, on. Yeah, but hey, on. But at home, Papa. So ho. And the Cairo Culture Program, July 12, 1978, at the home of Lord Toy Boss. The subject today will be the Cairo life as it was and changing of times. Those present here today is Lloyd Toy Boy, George Kilyadotti, James Silverhorn, Yale Spotted Bird, Stephen Zotai, Hazel Botone. Esther Topai, Isabel Tuatit, Louis, Lucy Sumte, Margaret Dinkor, Guy Tainpey, Jasper Sankadori, Bessie I. Haiti, and our new secretary, uh, Laura Lynn Gimasaila, who has just come in with this program. So at this time, we're going to ask uh, my brother Guy Tainpey to give us the invocation. Oh. 
Okay. Were any of you able to hear that? It was a little hard to hear. Very, very difficult for me. Oh. Okay. I'm going to um, play the first speaker, but if the recording is bad, we might have to pick a different recording. Yeah, do anything. Okay. Let me. Uh, He's the boss of the family. All right, we'll hit play. You tell us what to do. At this time, we'll ask uh, Mr. Spotted Bird to give us what he has been told or what he knows about the Kiowa life. He's talking to the dog, Angle. One day, don't have hope day. Angle, boy, boy, oh, get your dog day. ก็ดอกก้นเฮดเนี่ยก็แห่งไว้ก็แก่ต้องสั่นไม่ก็ก็ต้อยต้อยพ่อแก่แก่ดอกต้อยตะกุนตะดอกเนาะไอ้เนี
Okay. <laughs> so, Grandma D, could you hear that one at all? <clears throat> I could hear some of it, but the, excuse me, the speaker was yell spotted bird. <clears throat> he was talking about how <clears throat> he said goose done, talking about the president. Uh, and and the powers that be there, how they uh, were rounding up the uh, where they were brought in all the high was back into at Fort Sill and how they rounded them up and how they killed all their horses and how they burned all their belongings and brought them to Fort Sill. Basically, that's what he's talking about. That's what I could hear. And someone that could hear better might go into more detail. But that's the that's, that's subject. That's what they're talking about. And Yale also said he heard it from his grand, grandparents when he was younger and listened. And that's where he heard the stories of the way that Taiwas were rounded up and brought back to uh, Fort Sill, as opposed to wherever they camped or wherever they lived. And of course, that's in term, that the terms of the treaty, I guess they signed, and that's how they brought them in. The soldiers, they didn't, the US Army, Omaha. Oh, uh -huh. Um, Grandma Martha now. Okay. Um, yeah, he uh, starts out by talking, uh, like she said, that uh, first he's saying that they know their Kiowa ways and they always went by that. But when the president decreed, I guess, that they needed to um, gather up these Indians and uh, they kind of forced them to be together. Uh, he kept saying, eight bate, that means to force, force somebody to do something against your will. And then he said, so the soldiers there at the fort would be the ones to go out and uh, kind of gather up all these Indians. And he said a lot of people died at that time. Uh, and then he said, um, uh, we kind of knew, uh, kind of knew about that mountain area. He mentioned the mountains, the like Cope. But he said they were always watching us. He said, even at night, because they were, uh, when at and when night came, some of the Indians did try to flee out of there, got to run away to get away from that, and they kind of go in that westerly direction. Is what it sounded to me like, like where the sun's going down that way. Then he goes on to talk about in Texas. Um, he said they took a lot of prisoners there, and they said they decided they were going to kill the horses because that way the Indians didn't have the transportation to leave out of there. Uh, they were thinking of many ways to keep them uh, corralled. Or, uh, and basically what he said was um, they were um, all kept together as prisoners at the end. And that's what I got out of it. Oh, Bob. Oh, uh -huh. uh, Miss Marion, would you like to comment? This. Uh, uh, He's talking about uh, the white president, you know, making and uh, sent the soldiers. They were fighting, and it's because they wanted the land or Indian lands. And he said these were the places, locations that our Indian people had lived and knew and loved. He was. Uh, and they were moving them from their lands, the places they knew. And uh, again, this referring to that the Fort Sill, trying to push them all into one group there, but he didn't say it well. And uh, some of the Kiowas did not want to be corralled. 
or moved into any certain place, but the Kiwas would, some of them would sneak away at night and then the soldiers would follow them when they found out they were gone and they brought some of them back and that um, they killed, uh, some of the Kiwas were killed and then the soldiers, um, well, white people, of course, they wanted the Indians to be killed, not out and about. And the soldiers would they kill their, their horses. And then he's talking about how some of the, I think he's talking, referring to his family, lived out west uh, near where Hobart is. And of course, he referred to Guibaco, uh, that's uh, Lone Wolf. <clears throat> and uh, they spoke of these things, and they, he listened and he learned about what had happened to the Kiwas during that time. And uh, that's where he stops. And, but, you know, it's a pitiful time. Because like Martha said, they did, the white soldiers did kill all of the Kiowa's horses and they did burn all of their TVs and clothing, whatever they had. They were just trying to strip our people of everything of our culture and uh, took away the buffalo, killing the buffalo. I mean, I'm just adding this information. So that's it. Oh, 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 all right. Um, let's see. Okay, let's see if we can uh hear the next speaker. It says this recording is only like 14 minutes, so we're about over halfway through right now. So, let's see who speaks next. Time. George Kuyandari will give us a little of his, what he has heard been told. Ah, I think the recording was messing up with their tape player or something. Something happened to Um uh, who is speaking? He said George, Toy Daddy. Uh -huh. Oh. Well, that's what he, that's who he said he was, but they all sound, they don't sound like they, you know, normally do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Were you able to uh, catch anything that he said? He talked pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. Yeah, I think it sounded like their tape recording was, their tape might have been uh, messed up. You know how sometimes those tapes would... Uh, get too tight or something and they would it would speed everyone up I think that sounds like that's what happened um okay let's see let's let's see if we can if the other if the next one's any better I don't know uh let's see hey go get out of there they go out to the Lara Tokyo, the Lake Botalino, Oh, I could get a gasome, eight on the get daughter, or take a gasome, go get daughter, and on ton get toy, go and I got daughter, yet to run out on it. Some it, they got oil, hunt the hats, okay, oh my god. 
Okay, that one was a little fed up too, it sounded like. Were you able to uh, catch anything he said? Was that James Silverhorn? No, it was Stephen Hall. Because oh, he gave Stephen his, his car a name. Beaver Boy. Oh. Uh, he didn't give his English name. But anyway, he was speaking about how they imprisoned the, I mean, took the, uh, he was speaking of the three uh, that's who he was talking about. He's, so that's that's what I uh, got overhaul. <clears throat> and my voice is playing out. Okay, okay. we won't make you talk. <laughs> uh -huh, Grandma. Um, Grandma Martha, would you like to Ooh, add anything that you thought? Not really, because it, it was so fast. It just kind of went by a bit. I remember him mentioning the um, Chief Saint Agia. He talked about him in there, and then about the soldier getting killed, and uh, what they did was really something big or something like that. He said we just heard the stories at the end is what he, he ended with. I didn't quite get every little word in there, but Omaha. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Um, Miss Marion, did you hear anything? Well, it was really quick. To he said the soldiers were chasing, but uh, he spoke of uh, Sina, yeah, and that he had a knife, and that story was a fascinating story. You saw me, yeah. And he said, That's all I know. Mm -hmm. And so that was just a brief, brief story. He said, Everybody knows that story, yeah. Oh, all right. Well, let's see if uh, we can hear the next. I have a feeling the rest of the tape is probably going to be really fast. So, yeah. uh, so hang on. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uncle James Silverhorn will tell what he knows. Ah, go no agi, come on. Thank <laughs> That's added up on the eight hearted dumb a pulp Going <laughs> Okay, um, we'll try not to make Grandma D talk, but um, Grandma Martha, do you want to start? Mm -hmm. again, again, this is really fast. When he uh, said he was going to go back to the subject of where they were gathering the people, you know, herding them and corralling them. Uh, he said they told him that the soldiers were coming and the people kind of got scared and some of them tried to leave or they did leave. Uh, and they said uh, he was talking about them. Um, 
burning their uh, belongings, which is goop bail. Goop bail is your belongings. He said they were doing that. They burned them. And then they corralled them up and said they kept looking for people. They kept going out and looking for people. Um, and then he ends it up by talking about, you know, at, at the base, I think he was talking about the soldier base. He said he grew up and he heard things. And that's how he ended it. Said it's what he heard. Oh, oh. Uh, Miss Marion, were you able to? Catch anything? Well, just, um, yep, he's talking about how the Kiwas were, like when they were camped and they would have their men out on the hill looking and they would tell them the soldiers were coming and some tried to get away, but the soldiers uh, would come and they burned everything, their teepees and kill their horses. And they were searching for Kaiwas. And then the soldiers also had scouts that would give them information about the Kaiwa. And um, he said, I learned that as I was growing up and I knew of this. So that's about it. That was real brief, real brief. Oh. But uh, uh, Martha got into other comments, yeah. Oh. Okay, let's see who speaks next. There's probably about three minutes left, so we'll see. Now we move on to Isabel Tuatchet. She has maybe a little something that she'd like to relay. ไอ้ก็ไอ้ก็แก้เหยียบตัวสั่นมันเนาะออกต่อมาอ่ะดอออ่าไอ้เจ้าปากคงแต่ไอ้ก็ก็ได้ให้ติดต่อคงติดไอ
Oh. Okay, let's see. I don't know how many more speakers. Maybe just one more. I don't know. Let's see. I'm my grandma, Lucy. I got a boat on water. I go. I did the good of it. Does I'm going more and I take the. I take a song make a conduct a coy go a dog. I am what they don't buy. It's on get the hay take a get up. So I go a dog or do I'll gonna let me out of fork on it. I ate the hon to get so me to get on get. They hon not eat the hay to get ya high. Ya high go on it. Fargo I go more. Said I get ya high to come the key or the key to go to the or hat. Yeah, <laughs> Okay. Grandma Martha, did you catch anything from that? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So what you're talking about in this whole thing is that um, remember when Sedangi was a prisoner and they were taking him, uh, moving mm -hmm. him, and he said oh. that he would die before he reached that tree up there. Uh, that's an incident, I guess. That's not like they're talking about. And everybody knows that story. And she starts out by saying, well, talking about storytelling. Um, she said uh, she just said she knew about how they got there. It was really saw me. And uh, one story she said was that Sadon again, and he killed that man. And she didn't know where he got the knife from, but he, he also died. And she said, uh, if I find out any more, I'll tell the story. And that's how she ended it. So they all have just small paragraphs they're saying, you know. Must be pretty bleak. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Um, let's see. Miss Marion, do you want to add anything? She says, uh, she says we are cut was and we were forced here. And, you know, this is not our country. So I think she's referring to the fact that the Kylos, well, we lived all over the place. Northern Plains and wherever, up and down the plains. And so we really didn't, uh, what anyway, until the Kiowas, you know, LA, made an alliance with the Comanche. That's a separate story. But anyway, she says everybody learned of Kiowa Sedangia. Yeah, that's like a interesting story. And he killed a soldier with a knife. And that's, that again is, you know, to her, that was interesting. And she didn't really know the details. So, so I don't know. Um, okay, that's it. Omaha. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. We may just have a couple more seconds left on here. So let's see if this uh, finishes up here. Oh, they Okay. Um, I don't. Do you know who that last speaker was? It didn't introduce anyone. Uh, 
No, I didn't recognize that word. Yale. Oh. Sounded like Yale. Probably was him. Yeah. What did he? What was he talking about? He's talking about the Kiowa leaders being say obey. Oh, say obey. <laughs> hmm. Okay. He mentioned. Oh, oh yeah. Go ahead. And uh, he was, you know, he. I don't really couldn't understand the first part of it, but he did mention uh, state of faith, the uh, afraid of the bear. He was. He said he was one of the, the medicine men at that time, but I don't know where he was going with all of this. His statements. Hmm. And maybe we missed the intro or something. I don't know. That's it. Oh, but, oh. oh. Yeah, it didn't uh, it didn't really uh, introduce that last speaker. Just kind of cut into it. So um maybe it was like a old recording that they taped over or something. Um, well, that's the end of that tape. <laughs> um, let's see, let me this. Well, I need to probably do some computer maintenance and figure out what's going on with my computer so I can access these a little easier. Um, so I think we'll uh we'll just uh close it up there okay. with that. Um and uh let's see. <clears throat> um so let's see, I see uh Lori joined us and I see oh there's Rachel. Um we're just uh getting ready to close up. We just uh ended uh, our uh, the recording we were listening to on the changes of Kiowa's, but um, I'll post the video recording on YouTube, so you'll see it. Um, but let's see here to wrap us up. Um, Miss Marion, are you able to fade out? Sorry. Okay. Hey, so. A whole day no me. No time. No. 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 I told the boy, Tanya, boy, don't get any Boy, don't get go, boy, oh, get boy. I get so he go eat more hay more. Don't get that, you know. Boy, don't get a ticket. Get on it, so boy, don't get a coop, they don't. Oh, boy, my boy, they talk. Don't forget our language. Don't forget our kind of language. Go out and on the dog, he goes, they they on the get the eye on the dog. They on the side, they on the head, they on the head, they on the head, they on the just be with us each and every day, Almighty God. On time of each and every day. Thank you. We praise your holy name and give you all the glory. Not on time.
Through your son, Jesus Christ's name, I pray. I praise your holy name. Amen. Aho. Aho. Oh. All right. Well, appreciate everyone taking the time. Sorry for the technical difficulties. I'll try to get it figured out for next week. Um, and uh, with that, Hegaba oi don't ta. Hegaba oi don't ta. Oh. Oh. Oh.